Hi there, Megabytes. Um, for those that may not know me, my name is Jonathan. I'm the children's librarian here at the Ashburton Public Library. And in today's session, we are starting a new project, creating a uh, side-scrolling platformer. Um, so let's get started. Uh, let's start a new project, and we'll give it a name, and we'll call it Jumpman. Jump in, create. All right, so in this uh, tutorial, we are just going to be setting up sort of the background information, um, and then in the following tutorials, we're going to add to the game. Um, so we're just going to create up to the first end of the first level in this one. Uh, so first of all, what we're going to do is we're going to give ourselves a background, a nice pretty background. And we are going to draw in something here. So scene. Oops. Um, let's make some nice mountain scenery. Oh, that was a big one. <laughs> big mountain in the middle there. Just make sure it's all connected up. Okay, cool. Excellent. Let's just get that a little laid up in here. Okay. What we're gonna do is gonna Give that some green and some blue for the sky and ooh, just like that because it's stuck in there. That's all right. Get green in there. There we go. Okay, nice pretty mountains. That looks good. Give us some clouds in the sky. Pretty clouds, that's good. Uh, I'll give maybe one down here. Cool. Awesome. Right, that looks good. That looks good. And we'll go down on that. Okay, and of course we need a hero. So let's jump into here and we need my sprite. We'll leave it as my sprite, that's fine. Um, and we'll choose one. Um, do by all means create something um, from the uh, in the editor. Create your own sprite. Um, that'd be really cool. Um, but just to save time today, we're going to find something from the gallery. And I'm going to choose this chap here in a right-facing direction. There he is. Okay. And next, we want to be able to move around. Buttons. And there we go. I can shift. Um, we want to always make sure that the camera is following the sprite. Camera follow my sprite. Um, and we want a tile map. So we'll clear that. And here, set tile map to. And this is going to be the general basis for our level. So I've just widened it out. So it's plenty tall enough, but I just want to make it a bit wider um, just so we can have a bit of fun. Um, so I made a 32 by 16, uh, and I am using just a classic brick um, outline here. So, what about that? And OK, 
Okay, and the reason why I've left a gap there is because this one's too high and you wouldn't be able to jump over either of those. So left a gap underneath, you can jump back up here and try again. Um, and a bit of a staircase to navigate to the end. Right, that looks pretty good. Um, now over here we have this 3D looking wall thing. This is really important because it says um, that your sprite cannot pass through these blocks. So obviously we want them walking around on top of these blocks. Um, so it makes sense to turn that into a wall. By the way, anything that we don't draw over top of um, is obviously, if we leave that blank, it's just going to show our background behind it, as you'll see in a wee moment. Just go down on there. And now we need to find, oops, there it is. There's our level. Now we've got an interesting problem going on because we're flying around in the sky. So we don't want that. We want to be walking around on the um, on the blocks themselves, so we need to adjust gravity. So we need to add in some gravity here. So what you're going to do is you jump into sprites, and you're going to set my sprite X to and check it in there. Um, and instead of X, we're going to do acceleration on the Y axis. So remember, X axis is across, Y axis is up and down. So essentially, that is the um, gravitational one uh, in our instance. And we want 350. And now he drops to the ground. Fantastic, that's really good. Um, now, part of the problem is that we can still fly using our directional buttons. So we don't want to be able to do that. We only want to be able to run left and right, and we need to create a jump. So what we do first is jump into our buttons here, and using VX is fine, and using VY we don't want to use. So we're saying yes you can use the x-axis but you can't use the y-axis with the buttons. Um, so now we can go left and right but I can't jump so we need to be able to create a jumping action. So under controller you're going to grab your on a button pressed. Just move over a little bit. A button pressed now we're going to a bit of logic if block uh, and an equals block and back into sprites we want um, something this one here so my sprite x we're going to change that again to my sprites velocity on the y-axis is equal to zero, that's fine. And we want to say set hero uh, set my sprite, sorry. Uh, velocity. to negative 160. Okay. Uh, the reason why it's a negative number is because um, the computer sees the top left-hand corner is 0, 0. So as you go move across the screen this way, the x-axis goes up. And when you go down this way, the y-axis goes up. So we need a negative number in order to jump up. 
So it's a little bit reverse psychology going on when regards to uh, up and down, but that's the way it is. Um, so let's just give that a go. So now when I press the jump button, so when I press A, it jumps and falls back down. And the reason why I can't keep going higher, I can't double jump, is because this velocity is changing. So the only time his velocity is zero is when it's on the ground. So when his velocity is changing, going up and down, it means I can't jump. Um, now, one other thing here is that would be a huge cheat if I could just go across the bottom of the screen. So what we need to do is we need to tell the game that when I hit the bottom of the screen, uh, it's game over and then I die. So we need to go into game, game update. And we want an if statement. And we want an equal statement. And we want a here sprite, my sprite. Uh, there we are, sprites x. So in this case, we want sprites y. So the location on the screen on the vertical vertical axis. So when my sprite's vertical axis touches a specific number, so it's greater than or equal to. Because remember, the higher the number is down the bottom, not up the top. So greater or equal to 2, I figured this out earlier, it's 248 is the bottom of the screen. There we go. Uh, we want it on game update to say, you lose. So now, We are jumpy jump 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 and come down here and oh no! There we go, so that works. Um, so that's fine. Uh, now you'll notice that I'm still dropping from sort of up in the sky. I really want to start from sort of over here in the corner. Um, so let's create a location to begin in. Um, so if we jump back into our tile map, we want to create our own tile to say where we're starting. So if we go my tiles, create a new tile, and I'm going to make a little uh, flagpole. <laughs> there, not there. That's right, I can do that. Mm. Oh, I haven't got this very centered, have I? Hang on a minute. Sorry, start again. <laughs> yeah, rub it out. Start again, sorry about that. There again. It's about the middle there. Yep. Excellent. And a little golden bobble on the top. And it's going to be a flag. Now, I do. I was going to make it a green flag, but it's on a green background, so I'll make it a blue flag. Blue flag. And start from about there, yeah. Right, and there's my star flag. 
Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create three different colored flags. So I'm just going to copy this. It's a useful function. So you sort of put your little highlight around there, border, and control C is copy. Um, and go down. And put that flag there. And I want one at the end of the stage as well to say, when you reach this flag, go on to the next level. So we're going to create a new one, and this is why I copied it. So I can paste it here and just change the color of whoops, the flag there. Done. There's an orange flag, and we're going to put an orange flag at the end. And we'll have one more uh, flag. Yeah. And it's going to be my red flag. And that is to signify the end of the game. You complete the game. Well done. Done. Uh, but we're not going to use that until later on in the game. But that's just for later. All right. So we're going to go done on that. And now what we need to do is because currently we're still dropping in the middle of nowhere. Uh, we want to tell the game that when... Um, uh, to place the, the character onto that specific location. Now you can't do it specifically, but I can say random um, because there's only one of them. I'll put it on that one because there is only one to put it on. Um, and so we'll put, yeah. So place my sprite on top of random blue one. There is only one blue one, so it has to go on the only blue one that is there. And. Ooh, that did not work. Why did that not work? Oops. Right there. Ah, there we go. All right. Because uh, it did it and then created it, so it wouldn't work. Makes sense. Um, <laughs> okay, so... Now, when we move around, there it is. There's the green flag, blue flag. Um, and we can jumpy jump, jump. And see if we can get to the end of the level without dying. And down to the bottom. And when, ultimately, when we touch the orange flag, it will go on to the next level. Um, I'm going to show you that in the next tutorial. Um, so we'll see you there very soon. Kakete, and we'll see you shortly. Bye.